goes the other way, slaps. White stays down as only the quality players can do in that situation. Love the fact that uh, Durham, oh wow, great start by Sarah Tonkin up. And uh, Horton gets sent by Coach Brinkworth. First pitch and uh, yeah, well it's out. It's hard to beat that throw. Sarah at shortstop always going to be in the right spot. Shepard, half sort of committed swing, flies it out to shortstop. And in the count. And goes down looking on the outside edge. This one hard hit to Kinnear. Bounces through her. Tonkin makes it. White's already turned to second. Throw comes in from McGee at left field. The count. Right side over Penglaze. White will score. Cameron will look at third. Adams is calling her through. I reckon she's going to call it all the way. And she's been held up as... Kinnear has gone out for the cut. And Run around three. Moore goes down looking. Grau tests her high, and Cameron doesn't need any more invitation than that. And Grau to Adams. And for the second time in two batters, Grauer up the middle, but White, what a stretch. And she's bounced, throwed it over to Moore at first, but... Field single, Bill Bell's taking a hit away there all the way. Penglaze drops the bun, and Weir's run over the top of it. And all of a sudden, just like that, the Rebels have got runners at one and two with none out. Agree, and that just showed there the uh, the core, the strength of her core, and her arm was phenomenal. What a great call by Tonkin there. She before in pregame. Kinnear goes left side pass Weir out to left field who comes up throwing hard as Grauer goes to score. Tonkin in front of the plate. Which is, is they let the players get in the position. Peterson grounds up to short. White's going to turn it into a double, but the throw's just gone high. Moore unable to take it, and that's allowed Penglaze to go on and score. So cost them an out. Throw was, you can just see here, slow roller. White makes the first, and the ball just a little bit high. Moore just missing the timing on that. Change up. Ball looks like it's going to fall in the hole, but you, of course, forgot that Belinda White plays shortstop, which basically means she's playing left field and third base and shallow pitcher, and she's pretty much playing the left field of the dime. So we just see here on the C-Max replay, you just see her coming off the dirt over the grass. And uh, Mensforth knows that she's not going to get any part of that stat. She was an Olympian, Olympian diver, right? Uh, this season for somebody so young. This time she's gone down looking on the outside edge. Joe Grau. And swings over. Another pitch there from Grau to advance the runner at two out. She's going to get that opportunity, but Kinnear has come over, but not before Tonkins made it through. And Kennedy with great heads up base running. Oh. Swings Defense. over and Grauer as Kiss she can do it. Of death. To run or to just put it out there. Change up high. Horton runs with it. Moore comes over and takes the catch at first. Uh, one out, sorry. Shepard grounds out over to that side. Weir overruns it, but white there as you would expect. Grauer goes in the 6 5 hole. Cochran's going to turn. This time, Men's Force comes up. The cut's left this time, but unfortunately, the throw goes up the line. Well backed up by Adams, the pitcher. See it, one out. White inside out. This is a tough ball here. And Horton at second base. Too certain about that. Cameron over the top of this one. Cochran stays low, doesn't go get it. And that's enough for Cameron to get up the first base line and be safe. Gone has Cameron. Inside is Horton, but not before Cameron has got there. Horton has to turn. A little farther out, or they're coming back in. Moore this time gets a piece of it. Good it's in, in the left center. Bree McGee throws their glove out. Cameron will turn and score, is sent by Coach Adams. And 4-3. Gets a piece of the ball. Peterson does her own fielding off that hard line drive on swings. Just getting caught in some two minds as Bevan 
lifts this one out to right field, but Abby Kennedy, what great wheels as she's come in there calling Ollie Durham out. He was in, in no hope land. She was, had no idea where it was and got the late call out. Got herself out of there and Kennedy made some good ground, as he said. Fourth. There's that little change of pace again. This one's fallen in as it's gone over the top of Weir at left. And Kinnear has used the opportunity to slide all the way into second. Great base running by the shortstop from the Rebels. Peterson leans back and goes over the top of Mensforth at left field. Two bounces into the left field fence. Kinnear's going to go on to score. And from the number seven spot, if you don't mind, Jade Peterson... Number eight spot. Number eight time. spot. Be a tough out here for the Falcons. McGee puts the ball in play over to Moore, who runs forward, makes the tag. Falcons defense shallower, and Adams picks her up on the outside as Peterson stranded at third. Right fielder on deck. Chases high as... It Plenty sure that there's going to be plenty of people happy with that. Kennedy goes down swinging. Underneath this one, high ball. And looking into the sun is Cochran. And just a little bit of razzle-dazzle from the third base as she's... And there's nothing like confidence, and she was confident that whole yeah. time. <laughs> um, speaking of confidence... She's hit this ball out to center field, but Maddie Cameron... One of the best has come in and taken. Oh. Shepard hits an absolute laser to shortstop. But of course, Bell White goes over to White again. The ball bounces. What a terrible hop. But as you would expect from Bell White. It's a uh, tough, tough day and a tough job to do. And I uh, just really appreciate everyone for their support. And that's why I'm back out here because. We need a little bit of that. Bell White has gone to left field and Bree McGee has done a good job of keeping that in front of her on one bounce. Played it. Stays off of it. The ball's loose. Shepard comes up and White uses the opportunity as the Falcons go ahead 5-4. Good, good pitch by Yo Grauer as the ball had everything as Durham goes down looking and Blue Barovnik has thrown his hands in the air and that's game time set and match as it's the Falcons that have run out winners in this battle of second v third over the Rebels. They run out winners five to four. So 